Chief Shafi Lawal Edu, popularly known as SL Edu, was a prominent Nigerian businessman and conservationist from Ape, Lagos State. He was the founder of the Nigerian Conservation Fund, a Nigerian non-governmental organization involved in conservation projects and was a former member of the Council of the World Wildlife Fund. Chief Shafi Edu was born on January 7, 1911, in Ape, Lagos and died on January 8, 2002, he was buried by his family on January 9, 2002. Edu was born in Ape to the polygamous family of Lawani Edu, his mother was Raliatu who was the daughter of a Muslim cleric. His education started with attendance at Quranic schools before enrolling in the government Muslim primary school, Ape. He finished his education in 1927 and thereafter, taught at his alma mater. Shafi Lawal Edu belonged to a royal ancestry, a scion of a Muslim family. His grandfather was Buramo Edu, a Muslim Magaji who later became the Bale of Ape. Buramo Edu reigned between 1903 and 1917 and is generally regarded as the last paramount ruler of Ape. Buramo Edu was one of the young men who accompanied Oba Kosako of Lagos into exile in Ape in the wake of British military infiltration and occupation of Lagos in 1851. Edu left teaching in 1930 and started a career as a clerk with the Africa Oil and Nuts Company, a firm which had a business alliance with Holland West Africa and was involved in buying palm produce at Ape. In 1933, he was posted to Apapa as a shipping clerk with Holland West Africa. By 1945, he had risen to a managerial level. As a manager, he organized the Dutch shipping lines offices in the country and helped in expanding the business to other coastal cities. Figuring out there were affordable untapped prospects in the Nigerian shipping industry, he left Holland West Africa Lines and founded his own firm. Using his prior experience in the shipping industry, he found himself a niche in ship handling and stevedoring. He later expanded the venture into timber and other commodities. In the post-war period, he was a food contractor to private, government and European agencies. He also delved into the oil haulage business working as a contractor for British Petroleum, Edu was the chairman of British Petroleum, Nigeria when the firm was nationalized and had its name changed to African Petroleum by the Obasanjo regime. In partnership with T.A. Braithwaite and Munich Reinsurance, he set up an insurance firm, African Alliance. In the 1950s, Edu was a member of the expatriate-dominated Lagos Chamber of Commerce. As a member, he became acquainted with the law firm of Irving and Borner which acted as an advisory firm to foreign businesses scouting for opportunities in the country. Through Irving and Warner, he secured board seats with Blackwood Hodge Nigeria, plumbing and electrical firm, Hayden Nigeria and Glaxo Nigeria. He was also a board member of the Federal Industrial Loans Board from. In 1963, he was elected president of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce. S.L. Edu's voyage on the high seas of entrepreneurship started as a ship chandelier, food contractor and timber trader. He was successful in business. He expanded his business interest in the early 1950s to include such areas as transport which he named Slee Transport Limited. This company majored in oil haulage and transportation of petroleum products. From the 1950s to the end of the First Republic, Slee Transport Limited was a major haulage contractor for the British Petroleum. He grieved that he had to witness the contemporary deterioration in the state of Nigeria's economy, governance and international relations. Nigeria's suspension from the Commonwealth during the General Sani Abaka tenure as military head of state was particularly bitter to him as he was actively involved in the Commonwealth Chambers of Commerce in his capacity as the chairman of the Nigerian chapter of the Royal Commonwealth Society for decades. During the pre-independence period, Edu was sympathetic to the Nigerian youth movement as a supporter of Gibral Martin, one of the party's candidate in the 1943 election. He was elected into the Western House of Assembly in 1951 and was later nominated to represent APE. He focused his energy on various enterprises. He founded Nigerian Conservation Foundation in 1980. One of his sons, Yomi Edu, was appointed Minister of Special Duties by Olusei Gunobasanjo. S.L. Edu was elected a councillor to represent Bato Ward and APE District Council in 1945 and between 1952 till 1954 he served as a member of the House of Representatives. Chief S.L. Edu Research Grant the Nigerian Conservation Foundation in partnership with Chevron Nigeria Limited offers research. Grants to Nigerian citizens wishing to undertake research work in fields related to nature conservation and sustainable livelihood. The grant is for PhD programs. Thanks for watching.